Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and another vlog. <laughs> my name is Tatiana, if you're new, okay, my little montage probably, probably sucked, okay, I tried to get as much as I could. It was a lot going on today though. Uh, today is Sunday. I guess since it is Sunday, everybody was out like, I don't know, you know, Sunday resetting and things, uh, getting their groceries for the week and stuff like that. So it was just a lot of people out and just a lot going on. All right, so I went out and I got a bunch of fruits and vegetables because I am, um, I'm gonna get rid of this weight. I think I've already said it in my previous vlog, but I just plan on changing my lifestyle completely. I was watching this video. I follow this channel called The Healthy Alternative. My brother um, put me onto it some years ago, but they promote like fasting, wellness, and just like they teach all that or they just they discuss all of that so um one of the recent videos his name is steven and he lost like 200 pounds um he was 400 and something i'll put the name of the channel here on the screen or you know somewhere just in case you guys want to check that out but his name is steven it, he, he's the brother of the guy that owns the channel anyway he lost like 200 pounds fasting um and eating healthy i think he went like raw vegan or something like that but he was saying he had to like completely change his mindset because he knew how to eat at 300 pounds like he knows what to eat like on a daily basis or whatnot at 300 pounds he had to lose weight twice so the first time he lost weight but then he gained a lot of weight back so he had to um lose weight again and so the second time he was just he knew what he did wrong because he said that he just was not mentally prepared to be the size that he was and so the weight just you know it came back so I, what i'm saying is i say all that to say is that i know how to, it's 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 crazy because I was never like into food when I was younger and then and even being a young adult I'm still a young adult but I'm just saying like y'all know what I mean like in my 20s and stuff my early 20s and like my late teens and stuff like that like, I, I was never I've always loved to drink okay y'all can tell not alcoholic drink like just any drink like I just like drinks i don't know like i like juices and stuff like i'm not really a soda fan never really been a soda fan but like juices and stuff like oh i love to drink what you will always see me with is something to drink okay but food like i've never really been that big on food like oh i have to eat like oh this just looks so good oh like i want to go get that tomorrow like i don't get, i never got excited over food so lately I have found that I turn to food for comfort and it's really sad. I notice that when I'm when my stress is high, when my anxiety is high, I look for something to eat. After I get food, like I'm instantly I don't know, relieved or like I feel all right afterwards. I don't know. But it's a very, very unhealthy habit that I have come upon, as you can see clearly. Okay, I know some of you guys, I got a lot of new subscribers, so hi, you guys. Um, but I know that you guys don't know me, know me, but um, I was very petite um, before having children. I was very small. So I've only been this way, like I've gained weight over the years, over the course of 10 years, because no, over the course of nine years, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have gained weight gradually over the course of nine years. Peyton is going to be nine 
years old tomorrow so I know that part of my weight it comes from you know having babies back to back of course but I'm also not stupid so I know that I've been I have not been eating the healthiest um and that has definitely contributed to me gaining so much weight as well so I've only been this big like this is the biggest that I've ever been in my life and it's very uncomfortable like I am very this is not me so I'm just like ready to get rid of it because like this is not who I am like I feel like a shell of Tatiana like I'm this is not me it's never been me at all I tried to film this last night but I started crying uh, and so I don't want to keep coming on my channel crying you guys like I am um I'm a baby okay <laughs> I'm very very in tune with my emotions okay and it just is what it is right now I just want to show you guys what I picked up so we went to Whole Foods um and we went to Publix today tomorrow I'm gonna go to um Target because because I need to pick up some things for Peyton tomorrow I believe and also crumble cookie is across the street and you know we did crumble cookie for Zachary so I am gonna do crumble cookie for Peyton obviously I won't be you know partaking too much into that I didn't even eat a lot of the uh, cookies for Zachary's like you know we just taste tested it and then I just let them have the cookies whenever they wanted it um the next day but anyway so that's the same thing that i'm gonna do this time but those cookies were pretty good and i want to be able to like if i want to go get a crumble cookie and eat the whole crumble cookie like i want to go eat the cr whole crumble cookie and be thin and fit and skinty and cute <laughs> you know what i mean while i'm doing it i don't want to be a f i don't want to be big and gobbling a crumble cookie <laughs> Can you guys feel me, please? Back to what I was y'all. I just get like all over the place. Okay, so so bear with me. But so I got a few things. Um, from normally I would not do like a grocery haul or whatnot, but I just kind of want to show you. We're turning over a new leaf here. Okay, we're turning over a new leaf. So therefore, I just want to show you guys, share with you guys some of the things that I got. So let me sit you guys in a little talkie talk corner because y'all already know what the business is. Okay, the thing about this tripod, I like this tripod. I love it but it's kind of hard to like flip the little um stand out sometimes i be struggling you guys are a little crooked but that's not the point why is the refrigerator still open these blueberries look absolutely delicious so i did get some of these i also got a bunch of like salads like these salads like these like i prefer to chop my own lettuce but stuff like this like y'all i'm a mom listen i just want to make it as simple and as easy and as inexcusable as possible for myself so if things come already made like and it's healthy i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get it okay because i don't want to have to like do too much like i'll get i'll work up to that i'll work up to it but right now i just want to make things as simple and as quick and easy as possible without it being processed you, you know all that like junk stuff because normally honey i'm gonna go to trader joe's and i'm gonna get a pack of uh fried rice and uh orange chicken and that's gonna be it you know what i mean <laughs> instead we'll have a salad two of the other salads i put inside of the refrigerator already it was just a another caesar salad but the it's not chopped um, another one with I believe it's kale and like cabbage and stuff like that it has avocado ranch in there and i absolutely love avocado ranch oh my gosh it's delicious i got some more honey crisp apples i got some um peppers to be able to chop up and put inside of my salads um i did get some more fruit so like just like some mixed fruit like this this i'm gonna make right now which is this summer and zucchini squash so i got that and it's like you know pasta noodles and y'all y'all know i love stuff like this because y'all know i love the um 
the one that's made of vegetables. I think it's made of spinach uh, that comes in like the blue bag. Here on the bird's eye, is that what it is? I don't know. I did get some whole carrots, some oranges. Oh, and then I got some baby arugula. I wanted to show you guys this dressing and I wanted to see if anybody has ever tried it before. If you have, let me know what you think about it. But yeah, it's um made with apple cider vinegar and this is the miso caesar because i y'all as you can tell i absolutely love caesar salad like i could eat it every day okay so that is one thing that will definitely keep me on track is eating caesar salad i absolutely love caesar salad got some salmon i don't plan on eating a bunch of meat like that i got some pears and i got some lemons and some limes to chop up and put inside of my water also to put the lemons on my salads and stuff like that too but yeah if i do have like meats like i really just want to do salmon i don't want to um i don't really want to do chicken and beef and stuff like that I, no what is vegetarian is that like where you just don't but i think vegetarian like you do eat eggs right am i tripping you know like animal byproducts i don't know y'all gotta let me know because i don't know i did get broccoli sprouts too um to put inside of salads and i got some watermelon for joey and some grapes for joe for joey and jacob more berries because i i love berries and then i got a cucumber to chop up and eat with the hummus also some sliced pineapple but i do have a whole pineapple over here and the reason why i got the whole pineapple well first of all this because i know that if i have fruit out joey's gonna ask me for some so this is just you know easier to just give him i saw on tiktok that you can make like pineapple tea with the um with the what is it the skin of the pineapple and i kind of want to try it so that's why i got a whole pineapple in those i am incorporating fasting like i said so today i haven't eaten today and it's six o'clock i also got a bunch of juices sometimes i like to take these juices and when i'm making smoothies i will pour some of the juice in there instead of like water or um milk or some other type of processed juice i'll get like fresh squeezed juice and pour it in there because obviously it's better um and i then i did get some chlorophyll y'all know i have showed y'all this before um and so yeah so that is pretty much my entire grocery haul anyway like i was saying i plan on incorporating like fasting so like today i haven't eaten at all it's six o'clock right now i'm about to make them some dinner and then also myself i'm gonna eat this uh zucchini squash and then i'm just gonna call it a night i just hopped back on two days ago so and i've lost two pounds okay so that's that's good but yeah so that's just what i've been doing i just wanted to update you guys on that and let me put this stuff up and then i'll come back and i'll talk to y'all my baby, my Valentine. Can I hear the victim of the parents of the earth? If you leave me, I could die. I swear, you are like the oxygen I need to survive. I'll be your Laughing, they don't leave me. I am so obsessed. I want to go chop your body. Now I need a car and she will let up on a bed. I see what they give a lot of one city. If you make a bad man, sing no. Ooh. 
Oh my goodness. Just made the bed. I didn't like make it up, make it up to make it look all pretty because. Anyway, and we're about to get in the bed. So I'm waiting on my comforter to dry because for some reason I did not put it in the dryer before we left out today. Yes, I do still have my beanie, my, 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 this thing on, okay? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with my hair. If you guys watched my pamper routine video, I just now washed it and I just blew it out because my mom was supposed to braid my, braid my hair and I completely forgot. I completely forgot to, um, ask her to braid my hair i'm going to have to see when i can get another appointment <laughs> with miss lydia really i'm just about to um relax so like no more eat oh let me tell you guys about the food though that zucchini pasta was bomb why have i not done that before Vegetable pasta? Vegetable pasta? Don't sleep on it. Okay, I promise. Do not sleep on it. So what I did was spray coconut oil in the pan. I added the noodles, garlic, onion, and just some salt. Took that out and then I sauteed the shrimp, some peppers. Yeah, I just I just kind of romanticized it just a little bit. Is that what the girls are saying now? Um, <laughs> and yeah, it came out so good. It was so flavorful. Oh, wait, one more thing. So I did use... um some let me show it to you because my mom put me on to it and i've just never returned i've never come back okay like there's no turning back after you use it this is what it looks like goya salad and vegetable seasoning i use that on everything like everything it is just bomb okay it makes everything so flavorful i don't know like what mix of seasonings is in there but whatever it is is amazing hey y'all so i'm currently editing this video and as you can see all of my clips got deleted they're missing i don't know what happened if anybody knows how to get it back please let me know in the comments down below <laughs> um that would be greatly appreciated but yeah as you can see all of the clips got deleted but the most important clip to me was the clip of us singing happy birthday to Peyton and that's the only thing that was not deleted so I just thought that was crazy I'm just gonna take it as a sign that I am supposed to be filming in real time I've been saying that for the longest and I just have not acted on it I guess I was just forced to do so so but I'm not gonna dwell on it too much um it happened and I'm just gonna keep it pushing so that's what happened <laughs> oh this is gonna burn my nail i'm scared okay you guys ready yes happy, happy birthday, birthday to you happy birthday here too. Big business. Go 
Boy. Birthday boys first. Here, Peyton, and your four. Enjoy. Enjoy.